the first feature is using the back shortcut button press it two times to open the microsoft one node so for example if i press it two times like this it open the microsoft one node where i can start taking my notes okay so you can see over here now the next thing is if you want to insert any image what you can do is go to this insert option and you can directly search any image online from microsoft OneNote. just select this online pictures option it will open the microsoft bing okay and here you can search any image so here i will write with my pen heart anatomy okay so you will see it will convert into the text okay so here you can see and then just press the enter option and then here you see there are different images available so whatever image you want you can insert for example i select this image and then i select this insert option so once i select this insert option it will automatically appear in my notes okay and then if you want you can change its size its location as well the next feature is screen clipping option so just select this multi window option from here and then here you can see it is showing you different formats okay so you can open in any of these formats so for example i select this format to open it in a split screen mode now on the other side you can open any other app for example i open this complete anatomy app and then you can uh, use this app now what you can do is if you want to clip any part of this uh, app you can do it just select this microsoft one note and here you will see this images option just select it and here you see this screen clipping option okay now what you can do is you can select any part of this screen so for example i select this part like this so by just selecting it it will automatically bring it to my microsoft one node where i can do all the other annotation with the image the next feature is using your slim pen tool to draw neat shapes so just select this draw option and here select this ink to shape option and then whatever you draw for example i draw this circle like this it will make it into neat shape okay so for example i can use this one as well okay if i draw draw this type of box and it will make it neat for me there are other shapes option as well for example like this one so what you can do just use your slim pen tool like this and then you can draw it okay so for example i want to draw this type of shape so i can just use it and then it will make it this shape for me the next feature is using the back side of the pen as an eraser so for example if i write something and if i want to erase it so i just use this back side of the pen and then i can simply erase whatever i write the next feature is you can also draw or you can also insert different tables so here is the table option so you can give it any dimension okay like this and here you see it will create table for you okay and then if you want you can also insert spreadsheet as well so here is the spreadsheet option so you can select new excel spreadsheet and then it will create spreadsheet for you in your microsoft OneNote. you can also use the highlighter option so for example if i write something okay so you can see and now i want to use the highlighter so here are different highlighters option for example i select this one and you can use this highlighter as well okay so you can see over here so let's move to another app the next app is microsoft whiteboard so i will open the microsoft whiteboard okay so in the microsoft whiteboard you have different templates option available which are really amazing so here is the templates okay so here you can see it is giving you different options so you can use the brainstorming problem solving design and research strategy so for example i select the problem solving okay so if i just select it and here you can see i have different templates available so for example i select cause and effect diagram i just select it and it will create this type of template for me and here i can use uh, my slim pen tool and i can edit it i can annotate it i can use the highlighter okay so for example i use this highlighter okay so you can see i can also edit it you can also use this scale option okay and you can use to draw different kind of shapes if you want 
like that okay so you can see over here and then if you want you can also share the link of this whiteboard so you can share it with other people so here you can see this share option so here is the share link option so it will create a link you can copy it and share with other people and they can also work on your whiteboard they can see it as well the next thing is if you want to finish your work you can export it as pdf just select this settings icon and here you see this option of export pdf and then it will give you the location where you want to export it the next feature is ink to text option so for example i open the chat gpt and here you can ask it anything by just writing okay so for example i write here make notes about hard so you can see it convert my writing into the text okay and then you can send it the question and then it will start responding uh, about what you ask and uh, you can see it will show you all the search results in the chat gpt okay so you can see over here okay so here you can see it start writing and then it will also show you some images as well 